Hello, I'm Laura McCarry at the Hidden Edge with another tea break tip on how to use business models and tools to help you manage your growing business. Today we're looking at the sales funnel. Selling is a numbers game subject to the rules of probability as much as a roll of the dice is. Sales is like any other business activity, it needs planning. Realising the probability of turning a single initial contact into new business is small, therefore there is a need to generate sufficient contacts in the right target area. You must, as a business owner, find ways to help your sales and marketing people connect with the right sort of prospects. So let's have a look at the sales funnel model. The definition of the sales funnel refers to the buying process that companies lead customers through when purchasing products. A sales funnel is divided into several steps, which differ depending on the particular sales model your business uses. To achieve a required output at the bottom, you need a certain level and quality of prospect at the top of the funnel. The numbers at the top must take into account your business accepted benchmark and its conversion rates. Let's have a look at what I mean by that. We start with the annual sales target figure. At the bottom, we want to achieve £100,000 this year. Our average contract value is £1,000, which means that we need 100 new contra contracts. Bearing in mind that we have a conversion rate of prospects to appointments of 10% and appointments to proposals at 10% and a proposal to sale 50%, which is quite high, I'm very proud of that, then we need to have 200 proposals, 2,000 appointments and 20,000 prospects. Because the average contract value is a thousand, we need a total prospect base to the value of 20 million pounds. As I mentioned, this is a numbers game. Here is another sales funnel that uh, another business uses that I work with. They look at theirs in terms of inquiries, proposals and sales. And they also look at the traffic spend that they uh, invest in their business in order to get those inquiries, proposals and sales. There are several phases to the sale. And it's important that we look at strategies, tools and tactics to aim at optimising each of the stages of the sales process. So in this case, we have target market, emails, scripts, sales portals, fact sheets and databases, qualifying the leads, case studies, white papers, data reports and fact sheets. When the client gets to a positive intent, then there's demos, return on investment calculations, pricing and quoting. When the interest is serious, we look at supporting with references and delivery timelines. When the purchase decision is made, then there's legals and terms and conditions. And finally, the close involves onboarding and training. I mentioned that this is a numbers game and it is subject to the rules of probability as much as the roll of the dice. If you roll a die, a six will come up 16.67% of the time. If you roll it many times, the six might come up three times in a row and then not come up for another 10 rolls. Bearing this in mind, it's important to recognise that the numbers game is also a game of averages. It's important to avoid being over judgmental about short term streaks and short term slumps. So have a go, have a go at the sales funnel, download the templates from the Hidden Edge website and when you're there, share your examples too. I'm building that portfolio of case studies and would love to include what has worked well for you. So that's it from me, until next time, enjoy the rest of this tea break.